is Dr. Holt. This video is on Newton's third law where I have two masses on an incline. I have a 20 kilogram mass, a 10 kilogram mass. I have a 30 Newton force being applied to the upper end of the 10 kilogram. There's no friction involved right now and my incline is 40 degrees. What we want to do in this problem here is find out what the acceleration is going to be of the 20 kilogram, the 10 kilogram, as well as determine what for may just shut this off. What force is going to occur right here? What force is the 20 going to push onto the 10 and the 10 push on to the 20? Okay, the first thing I'm going to recommend is always just draw your free by diagram. I'm going to draw my first free by diagram representing this area right through here of just the 10 by itself. When I do that, I will have 10 times 9.8 coming down. That's going to give me a value of 90, I'll do that in black. Give me a value of 98 newtons. I will have the surface pushing back up. This will be my normal force here. Move that back in the correct orient position. That will be my normal force. Okay, I have 30 pushing back down like this. We'll call that 30 newtons. And then I'm going to have the force going back up. Move it into place maybe. And that force is going to be, I'll call it the force of the 20 onto the 10. Okay, that's the force that's pushing on there. Now if I draw the free by diagram of the other one, which I'll represent the 20, we're going to draw this area right through here. When I do that, I will have, again, 20 times 9.8 in this case will be 196 newtons coming down. I'll draw that in black, sorry. 196 coming down. I'll have my normal going back up like this and then I'll have this other force coming down here and I'll label this, this is my F normal and this is going to be the force, the 10 on to the 20. Now these two here are force pairs. They're going to have the same magnitude but opposite directions. All right. Now what I like to do is I like to set up an axis system. I'll call this being my x-axis and I'll call this my y-axis. I've just reoriented my axis system. I'm going to let anything that goes up to be positive, anything that goes up in this direction to be positive. So this would be my positive y, this would be my positive x. Now there's nothing magical about this. You could have positive x going down. As long as you're consistent with everything you'll be fine. It makes no difference. All right, now what I like to do, which is different than some instructors, I like to take this free by diagram and redraw it in an XY orientation here. I'll work with this first one first. And to do that, I'm going to have to break, like this one and this one, they're, these are two are parallel, this is perpendicular. This 98, we're going to break it into components. And what I recommend is, again, I like to do this. I just draw, just draw the vector. I like to draw it down like this. I like to come back down like this. This will be normal to the surface and this will be my parallel like this. Okay, this is going to be a right angle here. Now this angle here will be whatever this is at 40 degrees. Now you can prove that. Let me get better 40. 40 degrees. You can prove that by just um, a little bit of geometry. It's not too difficult. However, I, the point of this video is not to prove it, but that angle will be 40 degrees. Now this value here, since we're working, we're working mainly with just the 10 right now, this value we'll write in is 98. So this would be 98 times the sine of 40. And 98, <coughs> excuse me, 98 times the sine of 40 is going to give me the 62.99. Now I'm going to take 98, I'm going to multiply it by the cosine of 40. This will give me 75.07. All right, so now I redraw my free body diagram in a new orientation. I have a vector coming down like this, a vector coming back up like this. I have two vectors coming down like this, like this, and then I have this one coming back up. Now we just come back through here. We will make this one to be 30 newtons. That's this one right here. We take this one, which is 62.99, put it in there. I should, yeah, that's 30. It looks like, sorry, that's change that. looks like 300. That is 30 newtons. Let me make my end a little bit better. 
Okay, now this force here, again, is going to be the force of the 20 is on to the 10. This value here is going to be my 75.07, and this will be my F normal, which will also, in this case, we know it's not going to accelerate through the surface or away from the surface. This will be 75.07 newtons also. All right, now I'm not really going to be too concerned about these two because I'm not... There's no friction involved, there's no coefficient to multiply it by. So I'm only going to say the summation of forces in the x direction is going to equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. <clears throat> Again, anything that goes down will be negative. So we'll have negative 30 minus 62.99 plus F 20 onto 10 is equal to negative 10A. Now, one of the things I like to do, and I didn't do it right here, is when I draw my free body diagram down below or above, I like to put the mass times acceleration. It's not part of the free body diagram, but it keeps everything uh, in a logical sequence. So I'll just make this 10A. And that's where this is coming from. So this is your equation number one here. Now, I'll go ahead and add these two together, and I'll circle it again. Add these two together, that gives me minus 92.99 plus F 20 on to 10 is equal to negative 10A. <clears throat> All right, so there's my equation. We'll write that as number one. Okay, now we're going to take this free body diagram. We're going to reorient it. I think I'll just draw it right over here. I'm going to do the same thing as I did here. I'm going to break it into components. I'm going to come down 196 like this. We're going to break it into here break it into here. Again, this angle right here, this is 40. This will be 40 here. So we'll come down here, we'll label that one, and we'll come down here, and we'll do this one too. This component here is going to be, now this is 196. This is going to be 196 times the sine of 40 is going to be this. Now when I take 196 times the sine of 40, I will get, I don't know why that keeps, let me get rid of this thing. That gives me a value of 125.99 newtons. 96 times the cosine of 40 gives me 150.14 newtons. Now, again, going to draw the uh, new free body diagram reoriented. I will have a force coming down here. I have a force going back up, I have a force coming down here, and I'll have a force coming back down here. I'll have two of these. And then down here, I'm just going to put this as my 20 times A down here. 20A. Okay, now this value here we said was, go back to our picture, 150.14 Newton. This would be my F normal. It will also equal to 150.14 newtons. This value right here is going to be the 125.99. This value here, which is going to be a force pair of the F2010. So this would be the F10 onto the 20. All right, there's my free body diagram. Now we're ready to write our equation with summation of forces in the x is equal to mass times acceleration into the x. We will get minus 125.99 minus F 10 onto 20 must equal to minus 20 times A. Okay, there's equation number two. We'll circle that in blue. Okay, scroll down. Now, we have two equations and we have two known, unknowns. We don't know A, we don't know this. These two, again, are force pairs, so they have the same magnitude. So we are going to grab this one here. paste it down here. We're just going to add the two vectors together. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of the red. This. Now I think it'd be faster just to rewrite this one instead of me grabbing it. So I'm going to take this one here. We'll put it down here. Minus 125.99 plus F of 10 onto 20. Equal minus 20A. Now we can, again, there's several ways to solve, solve the matrices. We can do substitution or we can do elimination. I'm just going to add the two together and I'm going to lose my these values right here. When I do that, it's going to be minus 210.98 is equal to negative 30 times my acceleration. I will divide both sides by negative 30. And when I do that, I'll get my acceleration as 7.2993 meters per second squared. Now to find F20 on the 10 or F10 on 20, all I have to do is take this value which I calculated right here, I will plug it back into my acceleration and solve for that. And when I do that, I get F20 on the 10, which is equal to F10 on the 20 as equal to 20 newtons. All right. All right. So again, uh, just a good f drawing, good free by diagrams is the key to this. Um, again, just if you if you do that, you do this in a very methodical uh, sequence of steps. Um, it's pretty difficult to get this wrong. Now, to go back and check yourself, a really easy way to check yourself would be if you look what forces are going down. You have this one going down, sixty-two point nine nine. You have 125.99. You could take these two, add them together, add it to the 30, and then take that, the sum of that, divide it by 30 being the mass, and you immediately would get the acceleration of 7.2993. That's a good, that's an easy way to check your work. Or also a good way to get your acceleration immediately if you're in a rush on a, on a test or a quiz. All right, I hope this video was useful. I wish you the best of luck in the future.